to the weekend events. I didn't think people would be this up and at them on a Tuesday. Stop oh. Commentator needed indeed. Why don't you come on down and uh, introduce yourself to the lovely people watching? Zero. All right. Hello, everyone. Losers quarters, you say? Losers round six. Apologies. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on losers round six. Ross Jedi versus Jim Reed. You want to have me? Yeah, you, you got it. You got it. Yep, I'm coming at you here. Red started commentating here with uh, with plausible. Glad to have you on board, mate. Yeah, thanks for the cookies you brought. Oh, I'm glad you like them. Oh, I yeah, haven't tried them yet. Oh, uh, yeah, to all y'all who didn't come to the event, well, shame on you. My grand return in two years, and I make homemade butterscotch chip cookies. Well, if you don't come, you miss out. Damn shame. Okay, finds a bit up there. Also, uh, 30 seconds in, and Last Jedi is already at 87%. Uh, Jim Root is uh, quite fond of getting in, punishing whiffed attacks with short hop combos. Okay, good stall out there. Gets back safely. Part of me kind of wanted him to see, uh, see him go for the Kamikaze double pack, but not everybody's got the... Okay, and a bounce. To that. Not going to be able to play so patient now. Ooh, but that bang taking the first stop. Yeah, very early. Rage help there. Okay, finds a good grab. He's going to get rid of the rest of bounce. Oh, unfortunately, does not find what he was looking for. Damn unfortunate. All right. Got Jim Rude by the ledge. Turn up in hand. Okay, never mind. Turn up gone. Poor Jim Rude has not been getting any powerful stitch face uh, or any strong turn ups right now. It's just going to be the weaker stuff. Okay, isn't able to get anything started off that turn up. The up he's fast enough. And that's one thing I find kind of impressive about uh, Ross Jedi with his uh, with his uppy. He's using it as an out of shield kind of get off me tool for people getting too aggressive. Yeah, you don't see that too often, but it's working out fine for him. Okay, okay. okay. get him off stage here and think. Missed the crackle, but that's okay. All right, back to neutral. Okay, scary with that psych up here. Okay, another quick up B out of shield. Wow, he's really catching him with these. Yeah, great ledge trapping. Ooh. Oh, you hate to see it happen, folks. Interesting. Wow. Oh, oh, the psych up. Okay, what's he going to go? All right, you know what? Oh, oh my geez, God. Louise. That is damage if I've ever seen it. And now he's got a huge lead here. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not psych up. Oh, oh, he really went for the whack. You know what? I respect it. Yeah. You, and Jim Rude knowing to go off stage there, he's really weak. All right, turn up's not going to do anything while Bounce is on deck. He's got to get up close and personal now. Okay, burning the neutral B. He's only half mana here. No pun intended. Because it's fire. Ha! There we are. Okay, the ledge play working out pretty well. Got his mana low. Just got to be worried about all these power ups. Very patient from Jim Rude here, and it's working and out. Psych up. Oh my god. Oh, he drops the shield just a little early, it looked like. Either that or a poke. I think either he was trying to go for the parry, or he's like, okay, I don't need my shield breaking and getting twitched yeah, right exactly. now. Exactly. And he already had it happen to him. Dang unfortunate. But it looks like we're going to be going into game two very quickly. Are they going to take it back to small battlefield? No. Oh, are we, are we agreeing to gentlemen to, to Spiral Mountain now? You gotta do a long, hard thought about the stage list here. This is not a traditional stage list, so could really get mixed up on this one. Ah, yes, we're going from small battlefield to normal battlefield. Yes, we nope. got the, the we got the older brother coming into the room now. Yeah, nobody wants to mess around with the unknown, unexplored hazard, uh, Smashville or hazard town. Only the only the Smash Four, Smash Four players remember scrambling to get the balloon or perhaps that was just me oh no i played in bracket today saw balloons pop don't worry it still happens oh good all right we're taking it back looks like he's going with the looks like he was going with the mermaid man uh hero skin interesting oh and here we are on to the moving platform town let's see how they adapt a lot more space to throw turnips but a lot more space to wait and think it out but this time with balloons, big difference. Oh ho ho! All right, 
27%. Oh, oh God. Throws with the bounce. Flip, throws it right back at him. Flame Slash. I mean, that's just... Oh, God. Oomph and Psych Up. Now all he needs is Accelerate. He's basically got everything he needs. Yeah. And Jim Rude knowing just how strong he is right now. He's not going to play with him. Oh, oh he, wow. He was Good aggressive option. Oh, dear Lord. And now Jim Rude has the ability to sit here and plank. He's been doing fine. His ledge options have been good. He hasn't been getting too punished for chilling out here on the ledge. Gotta give credit for uh, Ross Jedi deciding to keep his distance with Hero so he can take time to get those much-needed power-ups that he's looking for. I mean, you know, throwing out the random projectiles via down B is great and all, and he's dead. No! Ho -ho! Oh, and he finds what he Maybe was looking not. for. He prayed tonight. Jeez. He prayed to Aaron Jesus, and he took the wheel. Okay, Jim, not in a bad spot at all. Should be... No, Accelerate means he gets back free. Let us say that knockback looked a little uh, interesting. Yep. Whiff to the frizz. Oh, and he's able to get a grab. Gets him back off stage. Oh, and he finds another zoom. No worries. And he catches him. He zoomed right into that. Right wow, into that and he finds a stitch. Everything's turned in Jim Rude's favor. All of a sudden, RNG is the one he's been using. Oh, wow. And he gets a oh. big combo with it, too. I turned my head for five seconds. He's already a 1 on 1. Ooh. Oh, and the tornado falls down. He's still going to live, though. All right, he's got to accelerate. He's got the movement. And suddenly, Jim Root, exactly where he wants to be, is able to keep him off stage, but he isn't with the accelerate. Yeah, accelerate proving really problematic. Okay. He's really been trying to go for that whack KO. You never know when it hits. Fair enough. Oh, and he finds the falling fair, and suddenly Jim Rude's got a stranglehold on this game. Jeez. He's able to find some good damage. He's able to get him back off stage, and the combo start. Now he breaks it with a jab. You remember when people were originally calling for Hero to be banned simply because of his uh, random factor? Hey, I was one of them. I don't like it still. I was a uh, day one. I was a day one hero. Fan. <laughs> we were the opposites then. Oh wow! He's able to snipe him out, and suddenly it's an even game. Almost the fifty percent isn't too big of a worry here with the weight difference. Oh god! He was he was eyeballing that kaboom. Not the right call. Yes, and he's able to keep him at disadvantage still. This is a big deal because he doesn't have very much mana either. He needs to land some hits. able to find a good dash attack and he's done it all you right caught reading the menu while you're getting comboed it does not end well for really you. good adjustments from jim there and i think the bigger stage helped him a lot as well Ooh. i've had four cups of coffee today and i think it's starting to crash on me all right no worries are we in best of five ta territory yet or is this still best of threes all right, looking like a best of three then. Excellent. Looks like they're making some decisions on where they want to go. Using the down B in real life, really thinking about it. Music counter pick always helps to power yourself up. So many, so many decisions, so little time. I feel like I personally get music counter picked all the time. If you pick a random song I I hear once in a blue moon, I'm thrown off. So that's why I just do myself a favor and just I turn on my music on Spotify. Oh no, I'm a I gotta get that game audio. Huh. There, Hero. gotta hear. My uh, my go tos uh, gotta go with uh, Warren Hill, Kanye West. Jay-Z, and D.I.G. Nice, nice, nice. I'm a fan. Thank you. Three, two, one, okay, and we're back go. to Battlefield. Going with another hero alt, I see. Okay, starting off, Jim Root's looking aggressive. He does not want to let him start thinking. The last thing you want hero mates to do is think. Oh, he's able to find a really good confirm off the turnip. 70 off of that. Oh, and he gets another grab. Okay, 
Okay, a good falling fair. I feel like Jim Root is making great use of uh, Peach Cover, just being able to do random stuff off stage. Oh, wow, and he's able to catch him falling off the side plat. And a stitch in hand, too. Where'd the stitch go? Oh, it's in the ground, and he isn't and able to pick gone. it back up. Wow. No shelf life. Yeah, Hero says, I'm the only RNG character here. Mm -mm. Not allowed, pal. Okay, good run up grab. Isn't able to confirm now. Not a big enough short hop. Okay, there we go. Back to the patient play by Jedi. Power he's up. able oh, to find an up, up smash. Tilt. Oh, up tilt, excuse me. He's, he's, he was contemplating what to go with. I do think bounce could have been good just to deal with the turnips, and that's also one less spot on the board to be taken up. But I can understand why he's trying to be a little bit more uh, uh, money wise with his uh, MP. Okay, there we go. Low mana, but he's got a power up. Gets him off stage. Jedi showing some solid ledge trapping here. Oh, he's back off stage though. The bounce isn't oh, able to help him again, from that. Reading the menu when it's just not the right time for it. He just ate that forward air. Oh, and that's okay, and Jim goes Nearly back to the corner. He he's got plenty of time. Oh, great snipe, he's able to save enough, himself. Not at a high enough percent. Okay, good recovery there with the parasol. All right, and Jim Rude knows right where he needs to be, under that plat, on the corner. He was looking at that flat. He, he felt like he needed to go for it, and oh. it always a great move to use at higher percentages when they just don't have a way to get around it. I have unfortunately made people salty uh, when I play Friendlies as Hero, and then I just win, and I just play, and I use Kaboom, and I'm like, I'm sorry. Oh, and he's still dis disadvantaged. Okay, back off stage once again. Can he find the zoom? He does. Looks for a call out. Nope, oh, not gonna was, find it. I mean, he had a chance. Like a one in one million chance, but... Okay, big punish. And he's right there. He's ready for the up B. And he's ready for another one, too. Ugh, almost is able to find the up smash. Okay, learning from his mistakes, getting rid of that menu when, uh, when he keeps approaching. And Jim Root is keeping the pressure on. He does not want to let him sit back and charge up. Very mm -hmm. little up out of shield, but not there gonna be go. enough to take the stock. Way too low a percent. Oh, no, better back air. Absolutely kills him with the back air. Mm. Wow, really impressive stuff by Jim there. All right, yeah, I really liked what I saw. Uh, Jim Rude really pulled it out there and, and got a game plan together near near the second and the third game. I feel like he really understood like changing up the pace when he needed to be in the corner when he needed to be throwing turnips and when he needed to be pressuring and, and, and not letting him recharge that mana. Really good stuff from Jim there. I mean, once he realized that, uh, I mean, once he realized that his main game plan revolved around Heroes Down B, get rid of that, cut out the middleman, what do you got? Better aerial 